there guys, welcome back to Back Pocket Game Reviews and today we're going to cover Square Enix's E3 press conference. It was pretty short, so uh, this probably won't be a very long video. By the way, if you're new to the channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button. If you ding the bell, sometimes it'll let you know when I upload. Also, if you enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a thumbs up and if you want to follow me anywhere else, all my links are in the description box down below. So, Square Enix kicked it off with Shadows of the Tomb Raider. I, I mean, we, we already knew that was coming. We've already seen gameplay. Um, they did show a little more gameplay on their stage. Um, which I am really excited about that game. So, like, don't, don't let my lack of enthusiasm here really kind of take you off guard. Um... I am really, really excited for that game. I love the new rebooted Tomb Raider series. I think they're awesomely well done. I think there are very few game series that were able to do a reboot quite as successful as what Tomb Raider has. So, next up we have Final Fantasy Online cross Monster Hunter. So Monster Hunter is going to be joining the Final Fantasy Online family. And that was pretty shocking to me. I didn't really see that one coming. It did look pretty cool, um, but I'm also not the biggest MMO guy. I've played a couple of MMOs. They typically aren't something that I get too drastically into. Uh, next up, they showed more of Captain Spirit, which is a weird Life is Strange kind of style game with this kid who is like a superhero and very evident that they're trying to make it seem like he's going to change the world with his actions and things he's doing, or at least he will think he is changing the world. Um, and it looks like it may tackle some more adult topics. This is not the first time we've seen Captain Spirit. I believe it was also shown off on Xbox's stage as well. Next up, they showed off Dragon Quest XI. If you like Dragon Quest, it's, it's Dragon Quest. I don't really know how much more in-depth we can get about that. Uh, they showed off a game called Babylon's Fall. They did not show a lot of Babylon's Fall. It was more of a teaser trailer than anything. It is being developed by Platinum Games. For those of you who don't know, that's Nier Automata, Bayonetta, the people that were working on Scalebound. Platinum is relatively well known for a lot of their games. But it looks like that Babylon's Fall will only be coming to the PlayStation 4. It doesn't really shock me when Square Enix does the whole PlayStation 4 exclusive kind of thing. Mostly because, honestly, Japan isn't really Xbox's market. Japan is Square Enix and Sony's market. Uh, Xbox sells like a hot turd on a summer day in Japan. It does not fly off the shelves. You have a few Japanese people who are extremely into Halo, and that's typically what moves Xbox consoles in Japan. Not, not really what the Japanese market is buying is Halo and Gears of War. Uh, next up, you have Octopath Traveler. No one's shocked by this. I'm pretty sure they didn't really show anything that new about Octopath Traveler. Um, but it kind of looks like a spiritual successor to the uh, Bravely games, so like Bravely Default. Uh, it kind of reminiscently reminds me of those games, just with a slightly different art style. Even the marketing kind of looks like Bravely Default's marketing. They showed off more Just Cause 4, and it was a pretty long one. Uh, they showed off a lot of different things with Just Cause 4 and a lot of gameplay. Uh, Just Cause is a giant open world sandbox where you can blow up and destroy whatever the hell you want to. It's essentially like riots on the street that you're starting. Um, you are a one-man wrecking crew in Just Cause. That is literally the point of that game. You have a grappling hook. You can grapple onto other things and launch them at other stuff. You can grapple onto an airplane. You can do whatever you want. The world is literally your playground in Just Cause. They are really good games, but don't go into buying the Just Cause games expecting like this incredible story. You buy a Just Cause game because you want to create a bunch of mayhem. When mayhem like me happens. They also showed off a game called The Quiet Man. Uh, 
Uh, it was literally just like a tease, a very short tease. Uh, that will be PlayStation 4 exclusive as well. Uh, again, not really shocked when Sony does, or when Square Enix does that stuff. Good old Squeenix. Uh, I, I don't really know what I think of The Quiet Man. It, it is what it is. Uh, Kingdom Hearts 3. We've already seen it. They showed it off on Xbox's stage. Pretty much the same trailer. Uh, and it's coming January 29th. So its release date isn't too far off. It is literally just at the very, very beginning of 2019. And that's that's a good thing, because how long have we waited on this game? Oh, that's, that's right. I didn't have children, I think, when this game was announced. Pretty sure it was, uh, wasn't too far around then. Well, I know I didn't have kids when Kingdom Hearts 2 came out. That's a long time ago, kiddos. So, I don't know. That was, uh, that was Square Enix's E3 conference. I kind of expected a little more out of Square Enix, but, uh, I, I mean, I just, I figured they were going to have more to show off. It's nothing against them. Uh, I am excited for some of the games they did show off, like Shadows of the Tomb Raider, Kingdom Hearts 3, Just Cause 4, but I, I just, I was, ex why do your own show if that's all you're going to show off? Literally, majority of that's already been shown off on other stages, and I'm sure you could have penciled in the other big titles on there into Sony's, so like Monster Hunter and Final Fantasy, uh, that could have probably easily been penned in there, and Dragon Quest XI, Octopath Traveler could have been squeezed into Nintendo's, it probably already is, so, I don't know, I just almost seems absurd that they did their own conference this year, but it, I guess, I guess it is what it is. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought of Square Enix's press conference. It was very short, too, so keep in mind, it's not like they wasted a bunch of my time with, like, some mumbo jumbo and sales numbers like other companies tend to like to do. <clears throat> uh, so they did outdo EA, which isn't really that hard to do, but again, let me know in the comments down below what you were most excited about from Square Enix's showing. I would love to hear your thoughts and opinions on this. Also, uh, yeah, don't forget to drop those likes. Guys, I'll have plenty more content coming for you, so stick around.